Yeah. I ain't know it was that many motherfuckers in Austin, though. He said it was over a million people in Austin. Yeah, Austin B. I ain't know that. So shit. We we thinking about yeah, Austin, cool, man. Austin B. Oh, Austin B. Now, Why? 10, 15 years is big now, but man, back <laughs> in the day, I knew everybody. Literally, every, it sounds funny, but I literally knew everybody who lived in my city. And now I don't even know half these motherfucking people. I'll be like, who is this? Because everybody moving from everywhere else. A lot yeah. of people I know go up down there. You know, and there's people coming down there. Yeah, it's a lot more people here than it's a lot more people here not from here than they are actually from here now. Right, right. So you know Zay and them? Zay, Perfect. I know who Zay is. I mean, I talk to him on the phone sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't. I have never hung around no, no, no really. Like all the like everybody who podcast right now, except for Kobe. I know, I I know Kobe personally, but as far as everybody who podcast right now, I don't really think I met too many of them. No Kobe for years. Yeah, I've been on covers down there 20 years, probably more than that. Yeah. He seems like you're a fool, bro. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he good, man. That's what I say, man. It just, I don't know, fam. I like, yeah. All right, Kobe good, man. It just, like I said, man, like I tell him and I tell everybody, man, you just got to stay out of these, these fucking podcast politics man this internet is not for everybody uh, it could be your it could be your best friend or it could be your worst enemy I'm no ass wanna crash out for real yeah, I ain't about to crash. I be watching though. I be watching, laughing. I I comment on things I want to comment on. I don't just always comment because it's popular. It just I just be like ah, all right. But I be trying to stay out of politics. The reason I even spoke on KP because I don't care. It ain't even about politics on this. To me, it's more morals and and just standing on shit. Like it's just it like. I don't care who he talk about. He could talk about somebody gray down. He could talk about my grandma and my anything. You know, hell, he could bring up my kids if that's what he want to do. But he better never bring up my kids in nothing sexual, because then that's when it's like, and that's what he did. I mean, it wasn't my kid, but you can't bring up no kids in no sexual conversation like that, dog. And think ain't nobody gonna say something. Don't stop. I'ma yeah. have his. Uh, over the internet, uh, over the internet. I said, see, oh, devil shots, niggas, devil shots, thought. Yeah, that's but, why. I, you know, like, like I said, like me personally, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know KP to not like the nigga. So my whole thing is, I don't have no any kind of actual beef with him. But the reason I would have beef is because you just don't. You man, you, I I feel real strong about playing with kids, bro. Like on some, I'm a rape your kid type shit. Nah, nah. I, I ain't. I don't care how much I stay out of stuff, bro. I won't stay out of nothing like that. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something, even though I and like I said, I, I even not even I don't feel like he actually had no video, but. You already been accused of this, and then you go, and then you just go say it at your own mouth, bro. It don't help your case at all. You know what I'm wow. saying? It don't help you none, dog. And then the people who really tried to stay out of it and really didn't, you know, have an opinion about the shit. Now you give them a reason to even start saying something like me. I don't say nothing. I don't care what them niggas do, man. Everybody, shit. As far as you know, how I care, I think everybody can shoot each other. I wouldn't care. I do whatever they want to do, but then you know when you do certain stuff, then they'd be like, "Ah, oh, nah, brother, I'm sorry, I stay out of shit." But you, I'm not gonna stand around and be listening to that. Enough is enough, cause that's black man, bro. 
we supposed to protect the tribe. Man, feel me? Man, a white dude. It don't matter who it is. I ain't riding with that. No, I'm talking about far as us, man. Uh, Got to get back to our real roots, man. That's man, I'm going to be real, dog. That shit ain't about to happen. I mean, that shit ain't about to happen in our lifetime. It might. It might happen one day, but it ain't gonna happen right now, dog. Not with the way shit is. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be a realist. And somebody could go in here and be like, "It could happen." Yeah, well, I could be. I, I could be a millionaire again. Well, shit, it could happen. But shit, realistically, niggas ain't about to stick together, fam. You got a group of. You got a pocket of people who actually care. And they stick together, and people are like, well, that's enough. It's not really enough to change anything. It's enough, you know what I'm saying, to get that ball started one day. But right now, shit ain't about to happen, fam. These niggas too caught up on the internet. They too caught up on social media. They too caught up on music. They too caught that's up on we, cloud. That's why we got to take like, like-minded like people. We got to start somewhere. Like, our good brother Hanky, like he's been telling us, yo, united we stand, divided we fall. As simple as that. So, like minded people with some good ideas, we can start. Everybody don't have to be on the same page. As long as we start, then I get that. Start you got to you gotta plant the seed what, what's you gotta going plant. down. Yeah, you got to plant the seed somewhere. I get that. But what I'm saying is, Man, sometime a tree take a long time to grow, my boy. Gotta start somewhere, black man. We have to. Because it's getting serious, dog. Out here, I'm talking about in the world, period. And we, we already under the last one, the last place. So, each one teeth one. That's how we grow. Can't make everybody drink the water, but it's there for whoever wants the water. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's thirsty, they go to water. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't make no spit at all. You're going to start drinking eventually. Trust me. You seeing everybody else hydrated and preppy and looking new? You feel all dry and raggy. I'm like, yo, what they doing now? Now you gonna tune in that ear a little closer, see what's really going on. I'm telling you, positive vibe, positive all positive. You add negative to it, you take it away from it. So. Keep the negative out. Keep it positive, dog. Let's go. Yeah. I got a lot of female energy, dog. You know, and it's like, I don't know, no disrespect to a female, but and supposed to think certain ways, and these dudes, they, but I know the reason, because a lot of them are great by a single mother, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't have no other outside influence for a man, male role, they start tending to act like their mother. Shit that a man ain't supposed to be doing, they be doing it. I've seen that shit a lot on here. Nothing like that, he will roll over in his damn grave. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all you do is just meet a person where they at, bro. You know. Everybody elevator don't go to the twelfth floor. Some just go to three. Some might go to four and five. Man, 
Why cat pack? Cat pod. Right. You know he's doing something. Yeah, yeah. That nigga just fall out. <laughs> Brad said, "Stop streaming. Go raise your kids to be responsible adults. You stupid ass, useless fucks." <laughs> Shout out, Hunter <laughs> Brad. I read that shit. I was like, hey, "He ain't lying. He ain't lying. That's where it started in a hole, bro. Well, ain't nobody doing that shit though." My kid get yeah, why, yeah. My, my kid get I, mad. I raised my, my kid I raised my mother. I don't even let them be on social media that much. Like I just barely let my little one get a TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I just barely let him get TikTok, man. Like they can't they they be mad because they want to get on YouTube, but I got this shit restricted. So they can't even see certain stuff. They been want to get on there and look up stuff and they can't find it because they can't. They be like, oh, dad, I want to look for it. I said, bro, you, nah. So they be mad. I restrict their YouTube and stuff. I don't watch, you know, music videos. I don't even know every song that come on the radio. But, like, I be just trying to keep them off certain stuff for right now. They still little. You know what I'm saying? The little ones are still little. And, All right. and yeah, I, I just, try to, you know, try to keep them, you know. Because you little motherfuckers are more advanced than we are, bro. You know All what I'm right. saying? I be talking to my little one. He a living. I be like, "What's up?" He like, "Man, I'm talking to my girlfriend." I like, "Damn, your girlfriend?" Then, then the other one be like, "Oh yeah, he he, he got two of them." I was like, "Damn, you got two girlfriends?" He be like, "He's like, yeah, well, she ain't really my girlfriend. She's just my friend." I be like, "Man, what you know about having a girlfriend?" And then you know, we just kind of go into it. You know? But you know, some people be like, "Well, they too little to have girlfriends." You know what, man? At this point in life, man, I'm just glad they ain't got a boyfriend, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Dang. The, the way these Dang. kids is right now, bro, it, man, I'm just glad they got they got a girlfriend. Shit. You know, now I just got to tell them what to do. You know, hey, look, it's hey, we're not on that. You know what I'm saying? All that other stuff. You know, because these kids right now, like, it's so much more easy for them to do whatever they're going to do. You know, like when we were kids, my mama just unplugged the phone out the wall and take it in the room, and that was a wrap. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't no getting online. Hey, you had dial up. Shit. She pick up the phone yeah. in her room. You did anyway, because you getting offline because they're gonna cut you out. You know what I'm saying? So, but now, you know, everybody got iPhones, they got iPads, and you know what I'm saying? Like when we grew up, like if we were talking to a girl on the phone, we had to use our imagination if we were gonna do something. Man, they could call each other, look directly at each other, send pictures and everything. That's why I say, man, you just gotta at this point, you just gotta talk to them and explain to them what's going on, man. It's not like when we grew up. When we grew up, we were we wasn't even sheltered on purpose. We were sheltered because it wasn't shit we could use to be out here. We didn't have all the influence on the radio. I mean, we had some song like Too Short, and you know, we had other music and stuff that was, you know. Our parents didn't like, but it ain't like now. Now everything is just is either shooting in the air or fucking. That's it. You look at TV. Everybody got to be a bad bitch. Everybody got to have the most money. What can you do for me? It's just, man, it's just shit fucked up, man. That's why I say it's like nobody has morals no more, fam. And I'm not trying to preach like I'm a guy a bunch of morals. I'm definitely not a good guy. I tell a nigga right now, I'm the work. I'm not a good guy. So anybody look at me like I'm a role model, y'all are dead wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's just I was crazy. everything just crazy. fucked up, man. And that's why I say, man, it's not that I don't feel like we could change. It just niggas don't want to change right now. So it's like I'm not about to be preaching to everybody about man, we gotta do this. We got man, those people don't give a fuck about what I'm talking about, man. I just try to teach my kids, you know what I'm saying, and hope to stick with them when they get older, and maybe hopefully they might use it. That's it. Yeah. 
it. Real that's friends. And that's it for me. You no, know, as adults, you gotta make sure they be held accountable as young adults. So as they growing up, that accountability start stick with them. They be like, yo, I gotta handle this because if it don't <laughs> work, I'm gonna be my bad. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta teach them, gotta teach them responsibility, dog. And really ain't even a responsibility. Just teach your kids accountability, man. Listen, accountability go farther than anything you could teach your kids on earth. As long as they're accountable for their actions, man, they're gonna be okay. But if you just raise a kid, dog, and don't teach them how to be accountable for what they do, they ain't never gonna learn nothing, dog. They're gonna just do whatever they want to do, and there's always gonna be somebody else's fault. They ain't never did nothing. They can't do it. They just they're not holding themselves accountable, dog. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell my kid, man. You know, I try to teach my kids, hey man, it don't matter what you did. Like, hell, my kids can get in trouble right now. And I'd be like, Did you do it? My son would be like, Yeah, I did it. Now he might not go tell no laws or nothing like that, but he's gonna definitely tell me because he's like, you know, he'd be like, Yeah, I did it, I shouldn't have done it. You know, it was on me. I was like, yeah, man, that's why he don't get in trouble as much. I mean, now, he get in trouble still when he do stupid shit. But, like, for the most part, I just be like, hey, man, go in your room. Go, go. Yeah, I'm not going to whoop him or nothing like that. Because, I mean, like, he already know you fucked up. So, it's like, you already know you're in trouble. Shit, go sit your ass down somewhere. You're not going to do nothing today. That's it. You pop. Think you about what you did. Yeah, thank you did. did because you know, hold yourself accountable, dog. You know why you're in trouble. I ain't gotta whoop you and tell you why you're in trouble. You know why you're in trouble. So deal with your consequences. Yeah. And that but but most kids don't do that. Like parents don't hold their kids accountable. Your kid could go to school right now, cuss the teacher out, man. Your teacher cuss the kid back out. Guess what? You're gonna be on the teacher. Well, you're an adult. You but your kid cuss the adult out, dog. Like everybody don't play like that. If my son cuss right. out, they'll cuss him back out. I'm not going to go holler at that adult. Yo, cuss my kid. No, nah, nigga, my kid shouldn't be cussing at you. What was you doing? Why are you cussing that adult? Well, uh, uh, well, they made me mad. Nigga, well, so what? You come get me or something. But that's what I'm saying. People don't hold their kids accountable. You know what I'm saying? We just expect. It, well, it ain't even just kids. We don't even hold adults accountable. So I don't want to put all this on kids. It's adults. We don't even hold adults accountable for nothing no more, man. A nigga go kill somebody right now. We free him. Free him, dog. That my nigga free him, right or wrong. Man, I love all my homeboy. But my niggas go kill somebody on somebody that was innocent. I'm, I'm not about to make no post on my free him. I'm just like, hey, man, I try to save you some money from time to time, but you probably where you need to be at right now. But I don't know. That's just me, dog. And that's my little preaching for the day. I ain't. I don't like preaching about shit like that. But I'm just keeping it real. Cat dog, what up? Well, I guess Cap doing something right now. What's up, Chad? What's up, Lena? What's up, everybody in the chat, man? I'm about to get off here, dog. I'm at, I'm at my treatment. I've been sitting there talking to y'all the whole time and shit. This nigga that did 